Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the podcast that brings you raw and original takes on a wide range of sports and entertainment. It's your boy Henny Drake. It's John John. And this is The, the Fan Family. Perspective. And we ain't got all the facts. Nope. But we all gonna keep it 100 with all the opinions that we do give. One zero zero out of zero one thousand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man. The NFL is never effing lacking, man. Never lacking, baby. You know what I'm saying? Got some big news today. Got the NFL sure draft sure coming up. Got the yes NBA sir. playoffs going yes on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, big time. You know, we missed the week. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. Sports keep happening, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, we it make, ain't the, make the world go around. Sports make the world go around. And like you said, NFL, never lacking, man. Like you said, you got the draft coming up. And, you know. The big news. The big news, of course. You know, you see me finally. wearing my Jets joints finally. finally. You feel me? The New York Jets trade for Aaron freaking Rodgers, baby. That's a, that bad <laughs> man. That's a, that's a Rex Ryan patch. Oh, right there? That's for the AFC. You know that? For Aaron Rodgers. See how that worked out? <laughs> AFC, you going to run that run that AFC this year, baby. That's how you feeling. That's you how feel you feeling. You know yeah, yeah, nah, I'm feeling good, like I said. You know what I mean? I said it beforehand. You know what I mean? I can see 11 wins, you know what I mean? Fighting for the division. I ain't going to go and be like, yeah, we're going 13. Nah, I see double digit <laughs> wins. So 10, 11 wins, man, and make the playoffs. I'm good with that. Well, I just see, I just see my my homie put. Uh, he's like, man, it's just still ain't gonna do shit this year. Listen, man, <laughs> I was like, I like, man, I gotta debate this all year. <laughs> Listen, man, nah, you know, you know me, I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, you know, I try to keep stuff realistically. You know what I'm saying? And, Nah, y'all got a quarterback, baby. We, we got, got a quarterback, quarterback baby. You, brag you feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. I get to, you know, brag a little bit, you know. Tell we got one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, you know, top five, top ten, wherever you want to. One of my favorite quarterbacks behind Dan Marino of all time. So, to be on my team and, you know, still play at a high level, you know what I mean? Like, it ain't like, you know, like, damn, like, paying man towards the end of his career. It's like, yeah, his arm is gone. Like, he's he done. Like, he can't throw no more. He can't do nothing. You know what I mean? Peyton Manning was throwing ducks, yo. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, he was like, you, it was, you had they to get out there. They and was getting was, there, though. They was getting there. And he was still getting the job done. So, you know what I mean? And like I said, that like like I said before, you know, if history repeats itself, you know what I mean? We can, you know, it, it could be successful. Successful, you know what I mean? Like you said, you got Montana. You got Peyton Manning. You got Tom Brady. You got even... um. You know, uh, Stafford that just, you know, came from Detroit, playing Detroit a long period of time and going to the Rams. So it's like, you know, if it repeats itself, man, we go to the playoffs and compete at a high level for two to three years, you know, it's I'm all, happy with that. It's always it's always fun, you know what I'm saying, when you see uh, a new player on a new team, that, yeah. you know what I'm saying, like an old, old player on a new team. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? For Just sure. to see. Because it, it, cause it's the ultimate test. It's like, can you do it away from home? You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And that's why, you know, that's why LeBron is still – Still to this day, even though a lot of people feel like, you know, he's the GOAT, you know what I'm saying, more yeah. more now than ever. Mm-hmm. But it's also still the people like that that even hit him with him with his career is underrated a little bit. Yeah. Because it's like, yo, he he left and did it and then left there and then did it and then left there again and then did it like prove he can do it. It's it's him. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. When you talk about the definition of him. Mr. Hemothy yeah, right there. Mr. Him right there for sure. <laughs> you know right what I mean? LeBron James for sure. But like I said, man, you know what I mean? Same, Aaron Rodgers. Same yeah, thing. It's his sure. turn. It's, it's his, his turn. turn. You know what I'm saying? Big city. You know, he playing Green Bay. Now he come to Broadway. You know what I mean? Still staying the same green color. You know, said, thanks, Joe, but I respect to the legends and stuff like that. I'm not going to wear 12, man. Let me go back to eight. You know what I mean? Because I respect the legends. I ain't going to take your number and all that. You think that was his uh, his first attempt to like, Calm down the media. <laughs> Fire as what? Like, look, I got respect for the greats. Like, just because you know they've been getting on them. For the yeah, last yeah, yeah. I think years. I think a little, little of that, and then a little of like, I want to do, I want to, you know, define, make my own statement. Because you know, York. if you, you feel me, because yeah, you know, if he would have wore twelve, you know, they would have been like, oh, he's trying to be Joe Namath. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. So it's to kill that and then yeah. pay respects, mm-hmm. and then also if it's like. um like, I forgot who just got their jersey retired, like, after a couple years. I think LeBron, right? He's getting his jersey in Miami or something like that? Maybe, probably. Like, something like that. So, if Aaron Rodgers come and wear eight and give us three outstanding years and win a championship, they're going to put that jersey in the Raptors at number eight. You know what I'm saying? So, Or mm-hmm. he wear the eight just as a reminder of when 
you get too bad, like, damn, y'all could have had Lamar. <laughs> He's going back to college, man. I got something to prove. You feel me? Word. I got something to prove, man. But like I said, I love it as a Jets fan. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we missed the playoffs the last 12 years. You know what I mean? So it's definitely great to feel that we got a great quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Team-wise, we there. You know what I mean? Like I say, you know, top five defense, young players, offensive defensive player of the years. You know what I'm saying? Rookie the years, and you know, I was very successful. Like I said, we're going, we're going for sure. <laughs> oh, doing that, that hopefully, it's as successful. successful as that. Hey, man, see, look, that drink got green tops on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, man, it's a green episode. So yeah. I gotta keep my, my my boys, my Washington boys. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. You know, you know the Polar Springs. You know what I mean? Got the green on it. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna take a sip for my boys. You know, making a great you know move. You know what I'm saying? Because we could have had David Carr and all of them. You know what I mean? That'd have been cool. There. Derek Carr, my bad. He you don't want David Carr. Yeah, David Carr in the sideline. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, he could have been talking. He can make a good coach one day. But, yeah, you know, we could have settled for all that, you know what I mean? But Rodgers put us in the contention of, you know, talking, you know, one of the top ten teams in the league, you know what I'm saying, overall. You know what I mean? So definitely salute to that. And I'm you going to drink that, that green water? Yeah, yeah. I'm I was, I was going to that green weed. There you go. I was going to bring some, but, you know, time happens and time goes by real fast. Hey, health as well. Yeah, too. Fan eat, fit, baby. Eat your vegetables. Fan fit, baby. For sure. But hell yeah, definitely happy, man. Happy for that, man. Word, man. But the other news, man, is the craziness of the NFL draft. It's like the craziness of the Rodgers trade uh -huh. or like when it's going to happen. It's kind of transferred to the NFL draft. And it's like, who are these people going to take? Because it's like people make mock drafts all the time. You know what I'm saying? And it's always who's going to make that most accurate one. It's like a competition between yeah, the facts. between the, the insiders. The insiders. You know what I'm it's the insider again. Mel Kyber and them guys. You yeah, know you know what I'm saying? But they be they be they be wrong. They be, yeah. No, no, not they be wrong on purpose though. They be like, man, talk about we were just talking about this before the, they be like, man, talk about us. Right, so right. I'm gonna put this dude that's projected to go twelve, I'm gonna put him at number two pick. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like just exactly. because. You know just this because. ain't my this ain't my final list though. Right, this ain't my final, right? Like you said, <laughs> cause you gotta think, man. The uh 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 what's that? The uh, Super Bowl in in mid February now. So now you from that time to a little bit uh, you know, you got the off season where you try to, you know, NBA, I mean uh, NFL uh, you know, trade deadline and, and off season. Then you got the draft. So between that time, you got to make some stuff up. Now you right. can't say I had the same list. Oh, this guy's going to that. Like, you know, you got to change it. You got to spice it up. Like, oh, this guy's moving up on people's tables. Then you got, you know, like um, Carolina traded. You know, and they traded Chicago. Got the first pick. Now, this person is going number one. Uh, this person is going number one. Oh, this person is dropping. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's definitely that time of the year now. You hear all kind of speculations. You know what I mean? You even got... CJ Stroud dropping? Yeah, that's where I'm like, that's where I'm like, man, this shit fake. <laughs> that's you know what I'm saying? like, they just trying to make a headline. You got see, is, is he gonna drop like Justin Fields? Listen. Is he? I seen I seen CJ Stroud. Can the commanders the, hey, they, come up? They, they they said, hey, they said we, we they got might, 16. They said we they said we might draft a quarterback. Yeah. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? They I, I would, they like the sand the Howell kid. Out of North Carolina, they like him, but he don't come out to next year. Nah, he, no, no, he the, the one that we already drafted last year. Oh, right, came right, in right. at the end of the, the year. North Carolina, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah they said, but you know, it's all smoke screens. Like I said, and then at the draft, you can't predict. So if somebody dropped and he's too, like y'all should get say like, no, no, I'm gonna cut you off, but say like, you know, Hooker, from Tennessee, you know, he got a bad injury. So he's gonna, you know, miss Pipe. He's gonna be coming in training camp a little banged up. But now nah, he's projected to go in the top ten. You know what I'm saying? So at, you know, pit fifteen and sixteen is, you know, commanders interested in getting this guy that can be a potential franchise quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Everybody potential for a franchise quarterback if you talk about it, the first round. Right. How many potential, times right. about to say how many times it really turn pans out? <laughs> Not not very much. Yeah, but, that's, you know what I'm saying? So that's you take a, crazy, a risk every time. That's a crazy probability. Like, you got to think maybe one a year is going to be a decent. Is a decent quarterback. The other three or two, you're going to be like, why is you here? Fizzles out. That's crazy. <laughs> that's that's crazy, crazy though, for real. But what I was, what I was getting to is when I, when I first seen CJ Stroud play, 
obviously, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a Miami fan, so I ain't really mm-hmm. checking for all these other teams. But when, when they on the team, it's like Marvin Harrison, Marvin Harrison Jr. over there. Like, you just right. notice him. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's a fact. So the first time I seen Stroud play, I literally thought in my head, like, oh, he a dog. Like, Facts. he could play quarterback. Yeah. I seen him get blown out a couple times, mm-hmm. but I also seen him play against the best team in the nation and almost pull it out. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So, all this other stuff they talking about, we already know that stuff don't matter. You know what right. I'm saying? We, we've we seen, respectfully, we've seen dumbasses facts. at quarterback ball. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Facts, like, facts. <laughs> So facts. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind if if he falls. If he ever so happens falls down to the mid round or whatever, who cares? You know, I feel like we got a pretty solid set of position players. Yeah. You no. Know nah. But I, I seen. I just seen real quick that we was projected to take a lineman from Oklahoma or something. Okay. Yeah. So and nah. Oklahoma they produce good linemen. So right, right. I'm now cool with that too. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But uh, like you said though, you know you you know people people. You know, this is that time of year where people fall and people move up. So you don't, it's a lot of smoke screens for the player for their player that they want really can fall to them. And like I said, if Stroud falls to pass the top ten, a team is moving up crazy to get him. You feel me? Because like I said, for instance, like I said, your boys at fifteen, watch shit. Hell yeah, I move up four spots to get him. Um, Tennessee at eleven, I can see them pouncing all over him. Cause I don't think, you they, know, they were shopping around. T- they shopping around Tannehill, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying Tannehill might get released. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> um, New England, and I, I don't think is in the market. You know, the Jets got, you know, so in that range, I can see y'all guys like moving up. You know, Couple before so. before uh, uh, Tennessee, and you know, trade with Philly. You know, what I mean, I know that's your rivals, but shit, when it comes to trades, if you get me, a, right? That's what I'm saying, like. <laughs> yeah. They got two picks in the first round. Like Philly is ready to they, go. They, Rumble no, again, boy. Philly might trade that shit to Tennessee. All these Derrick Henry, all these Derrick Henry rumors. But would you trade the first? But I'm saying, it's, it's Derrick Henry. They're gonna be like, no, we want that pick that right ahead of us. Like, <laughs> now nah, I, I want. See me personally, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> Tennessee, why? Tennessee side, right? Nah, Philly side. I'm not trading. Not yeah. Derrick Henry. Ten is too high. Terry Henry, high. though. Yeah, I understand. I'm trading that 30th. They got everybody else. Right, but that's why they're talking about picking up the cat from Texas, though. Oh, the okay. back. he is the highest. Rated yeah, he's the back. highest running back, you know, projected to come out. Well, he's like a Derrick Henry style. Yeah, and he's targeted by Philly. So, you know what I'm saying? But I can see y'all, like I said, going ahead, right, of them trading with Philly because Tennessee ain't going to draft him as far as running back, and they can still get a running back at 16. You feel me? So I can see that happening, man. The draft gets interesting after, you know, Houston not talking about not drafting a quarterback. So they talking about Hooker at 12, and then if all the rumors and stuff start making C.J. Stroud fall, why not Houston get Stroud at? They can move back up. They at 12. Say they move to 8 with Atlanta real quick, and they get two of the top 10 picks. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very interesting, what, man. What you, what you think is going to happen – with that kid from Georgia, number eighty-eight, and he nasty. He defensive tackle. You talking about the big dog that that ran fast and all that in the combine? Or are you talking about no the other one that had the issues? Had the issues. Um, he he's the better player, like on film. Yeah, he the go. Other, the yeah. other dude is a physical specimen. Right, right. He goes. Um, he said he's in the top 10 still. He's still going to be in the you top think, 10. You think they go, whoever going to take that risk with him? Yeah, yeah. I think he's still in the top 10. Because um, when you think about Chicago, him. Chicago, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Not, not, to, not, to bring up so, not, to, not to bring up so much negative or whatever. But yeah. when you think, because I'm, I'm just bringing it up because when you think about that situation, mm-hmm. you also got to think about Henry Ruggs. Right. That just happened. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, yeah, absolutely. Same situation. Right. Right. But at, the same, but at the same time, with with that, at least you know ahead of time. Like maybe? you, well, what I mean by ahead of time is like that guy. I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's the case or whatever is handled, but you know it happened. You know, what I mean, it's an unfortunate situation, and hopefully he's learned from that already. He's not in the NFL. He's not in the NFL yet. You know, what I mean, to get suspended or get whatever from out of the league. At least now he can grow up from the situation. You know, what I mean, learn. Hopefully, learn his lesson and everything. 
and you're getting them, and he knows better. Like, well, he should know better. He going should into know the, better. Right, going one, into th- the one thing, one thing you could say about him is he's dedicated. Because after all of that, he still came to the combine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, right, right. You come out and live out your dreams. You know what I mean? He pulled up, even though he had a dip. Right. You know what I'm saying? But he pulled up. Yeah. <laughs> he said, fuck everything. I'm going to play football. Right. <laughs> Listen, man. Listen, that's, that's what, you know, <coughs> that's what drives him, man. You know what I mean? And that's what clears your mind, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if you're going through anything, like anything that you love to do or whatever, that, you know what I mean? That clears your mind for them couple hours. You know what I mean? Well, so, you got, I, and I, I hope. I hope that's what it is for her because yeah, it's therapy. A situation like that, right? You gonna need some therapy. That's what I'm saying. You gonna need some therapy. That's what I'm saying. So you know, he definitely, he definitely going in the top ten. Like he's not falling past the top ten. Him and the other cat from Georgia, like I said, Jalen Carter, that's his name. Yeah, right? yeah. The other cat from Georgia, they both, you know, what I mean, two Georgia dogs going, you know, yeah, going four, in the top four, ten. Four, three, three. It's crazy. They talking about him going to Houston. Cause you know they Number got Demico Ryan, yeah, they got Demico Ryan over there as the coach. You know what I'm saying? And he's the they defense. They want their own. Yeah, they, they want, own Aaron Donald. They want their own Bosa. You know what I'm saying? It's more and, Aaron Donald. He's short. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm just saying that they want that defense. They want to go that route. And then they got 12. So that's why they talking about. That's why you know oh, they, so they, they. That's Will, why Will they. Probably, Levis? That's why they probably throwing the, run, the monkey in the wrench like. Yeah. Nah, Strout. Nah, we ain't gonna drive Strout like Strout. Right, right. So they see twelve, and then drop. they see they see they get the ball seven, eight. They're like, all right, we might get out. You know, we might win the draft with those two joints. You feel me? So, mm. yeah, man. Like I said, that time of year to yeah. do all the rumors, but that yeah. boy Watson wasn't too far. Was it too far back? You know, they they still got memories of a black quarterback right there. <laughs> that too, but that's why they talking about. Uh, yeah, that's why they talking about uh, Hooker as well, though. You know what I'm saying? Because he don't really got none of the issues, but like I said, the injury. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And he would have been protected first I round. Didn't, I didn't even know, like. You keep saying his name, and I didn't even really know about him like that. I knew more about the wide receiver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, but Hooker, yeah. Like I said, if anything, like in college, like I followed a couple of them guys. I ain't going to say a lot of them. Like, but, you know, Strout, I watched him, and then we actually, you know, we got to watch him in the national championship. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, the, uh, you know what I mean? What's it called? College football playoffs. The playoffs. And that sold me. Like, beforehand, I was like, you know, he go to Ohio State, you know, all them cats be nice. But you know it might not transfer to the, you know to the, to the next level. But when he played against Georgia, I'm like he the number one quarterback to me. Yeah, like he that, got the size, saying, like, he got everything. He played against them dogs, and did his thing. You know what I'm saying? Should have won. We see what Georgia did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kansas State. Right. God damn. Man, that was just a, that was just butt with, with that liver shot. Facts. Definitely. <laughs> we'll get to that in a little minute. But. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so, you know what I'm saying, it's levels. And then, you know, Young, I just think, you know, he got that 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 tool in him as far as, like, he went to Alabama, obviously. You know, a little short quarterback. And, you know, obviously talented I'm gonna be as, honest. as a mother. I'm going to be honest. But we'll see if it translates. I'm about to, that's the thing. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I might be. I'm probably not the only one on YouTube, but I feel like I'm the only one on YouTube mm-hmm. that's going to say this. Yep, we're listening. What's his name? Bryce? Bryce Bryce what? Bryce Young. Bryce Young. He ain't gonna do shit in the NFL. I'm saying it right now. Trace he talked take. He talk good. Take. Uh-huh. He talked good, but that means he know how to talk his way out of something or into something. You know what I'm saying? And look, I know he's, he he Kyler Murray small. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like right. Russell Wilson is small, but he ain't Kyler Murray small. Right. He caught a Murray small. He's that's what, little. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And he he never been known as the athletic freak as like right. Kyler, Kyler Murray, where he could run around and ain't nobody catching him. That's what Got I'm that Vic speed when the football pads on. You know what I'm saying? Right. Facts. Bro, I don't see Bryce Young doing that, and I'm gonna be the one to say, "Hey, man, I hope you prove me wrong." Right. But you ain't gonna do shit in the NFL. I, like. And they projecting the number one pick. I'm like, nah, that's the mistake. That that's what I'm made. saying. But like I said, it's, it's 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 a you know you know you know it's it's bust. And then there's people that you can predict. Yeah. As, it, like just look at the past. You know, like no disrespect. You got your boy now, so I can say, look at y'all backup quarterback. Y'all swore up and down, and not nah, nothing. Right. That's a fact. And he's not even the smallest. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like this Facts. dude's smaller. No, than but that's that's why I say that's why I put any disclaimer on an Alabama quarterback. And I'm a short person. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm that's why I put any disclaimer on an Alabama quarterback. Black, white, it don't matter. 
Because you're playing at a big program that's going to have them big dogs in the trenches. That protect you. Protect you. You're going to have them big dogs and them goats. At receiver. And you're going to have them big horses. At running right back. So, you know what I'm saying? If you're better than average, you know what I'm saying, quarterback, you're oh. going to look like. What? No, imagine if Cam went to you, Alabama. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it would have been. It wouldn't have been unfair. Yeah, it would. <laughs> and Cam beat them and all that. Right, you know that's what, what I'm saying, saying? Like, right. With Auburn. You that's know what, what I'm saying? I'm Auburn saying. is like a mini Alabama. Right, like, right. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? So imagine, that's what I mean. So that's why I always put disclaimers on, you know, Alabama quarterbacks. Why you know you, how, but, but why is that, though? Like, why? Because the things we just all named. Like, they have great receivers, great running backs, great offensive line. So why wouldn't the, the best athlete quarterback be like, I want to go play with them? You know what I'm saying? Like, no, it makes sense. I hear what you're saying, though. <laughs> I hear what you're it's saying. It's always just a plug in. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, you're right, though. You're right. Because, like you said, the number one quarterback never really chooses Alabama. Or maybe. Like or my Jaylen theory. Hurts or, or maybe what I'm. Or, or, or maybe what I'm. My I guess theory. Tua was I. Right. But. Or maybe what my theory is, they look at it and they be like, uh, they had all the same weapons as well. You know what I'm saying? They might have been the top runner, uh, court, quarterbacks. You know what I'm saying? And they chose Alabama, but we look at it that way. You know what I'm saying? Because coming out, but you, like you said, you know Ohio State, too. Ohio State be having dogs at quarterback. Imagine one of them went to Alabama and played. Right. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? That's like, a fact. Throw prior. You know what no, I'm saying? Right. 12 prior. What? <laughs> prior was nice, man. What? He was nice. Man. He was a phenom. He was phenom. one of them first internet quarterbacks, yo. Like, he first. You seen his high school highlights, like, yo, he different. Yeah, like, he was and different. I was in, like, Eighth grade, look at that. Right. Like, yeah, like, oh, yeah. He could have played in, like I said, he could have played like in the senior year for Ohio State. How good, nice he was! Like I was a big boy. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just a disclaimer. Alabama quarterbacks, you know, what I mean, nothing to take away from them. But like you said, I don't think he's going to do too much. You know, what I mean, hopefully he proves wrong. You know what I'm saying, like I said, the yeah, I man, always hope y'all prove me wrong. Right. If yeah, I, yeah. if I, if I, for I, sure. if I say I'm going to do good, hopefully prove me right. But I hope you prove me wrong if I'm telling right. you going to be ass. Absolutely. Right. Right. Because you probably going to be ass. I'm just saying. You know, yeah, and, respectfully, and respectfully, of course, but it's also because you're going to your number one pick. That means you're going to the worst team. Facts. So your chances of success one of, is one of the worst. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. That's what I'm saying. Like your chances of success is already fucked. Like, so you got to be extraordinary to take the worst team and be like, nah, we we still gonna win. Like on some Deshaun Watson shit. Like he had that team in the playoffs. Like facts. But at the same time, that's why it it, it, it might will work because Sean Watson different than Bryce. You know? I'm just saying it <laughs> might work on that aspect because don't um, the Bears got the first pick? That's what I'm saying I'm going to <laughs> it, um, <laughs> it might work to that aspect because like Deshaun Watson, like he wasn't the first quarterback pick, and Houston picked in the teens mm-hmm. and drafted him. Now Carolina was scheduled to pick at nine. And they moved up to one. Oh, Carolina so they, got the yeah. I'm thinking Chicago. Nah, nah, Chicago I'm got the number Chicago. one pick. No, they traded yeah, with okay. Carolina. Remember they got DJ Moore. Because I was in my head like, pick. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm in my head like no, Justin so he, Fields. Is, I no, feel so, like he got a better chance. Than, right, right. So he went to Carolina. Like I said, he going to Carolina, which is a little better, you know, situation. Than, well, Chicago got better in the off season though. What and with that trade because they got DJ yeah. Moore. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, so that's when that aspect it might work a little bit, like you said. A lot of them quarterbacks, unless they're, you know, Trevor Lawrence and Andrew Luck and all them, are going to change the franchise, like you said. Trevor Lawrence proved me wrong. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? He proved you wrong? Yeah. You think, I, thought, I, I know. I, know I he had gonna, too much hope for him because it was attitude. Yeah. I know he was going to do good. I don't know how long he'll last in the league. Like you said, because attitude is like, yeah, I'm just here. But um, talent-wise, yeah, I know he had it. That's why I was like sick that we just won an extra game. <laughs> on some bullshit Like literally on some bullshit Adam Gates was like Fuck y'all At the same time You play to win the game well, So uh, you Lovey Smith that. did that right? What's that? Lovey Smith Then then not Lovey Smith just Like win the last game yeah, Oh he, Houston Yeah, yeah he, he did that same shit too yeah. right? Like, like you playing y'all. to win the game Yeah And that's what Gates did with us Like we could With Jacksonville Like we would have lost that We want to go on a little winning streak told the team Yo one, number one or number two pick What's the fucking difference? <laughs> A big, a big difference. <laughs> nah, nah, they talking about. Nah, what I'm saying, what's the, they both got the same chance of being a bust. True, you know what I'm saying. So fuck it, let's true. Fuck these owners. But like I said, right, I right. Say something else, man. right, right. Fuck these owners. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> true, but like it, it does make a difference though. Because you can have Trevor Lawrence, or you can have 
You know what I mean? Zach Wilson or or, or Trey Lance or uh, um, Mac Jones. You know what I'm saying? So it makes a difference, man. That doesn't make a difference, man. And, you know, talking about Houston, Houston might, you know, try to trade for Trey Lance. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, old coach, he know he know he knows what he has. I think San Fran is the so we'll only see. team in the league that I don't give a fuck who they got at quarterback. They gonna make something happen. No, that's what they were I saying. I think they're the only that's, team in the league that can do that's that. That's why I said Sam watch that's why I said watch <laughs> Sam go on that bitch and be like playing on the MVP level. You know what I'm saying? Cause Jimmy was doing his thing and looking like MVP level. He just couldn't stay on the field. Like but, Jimmy was out there doing also, his thing. But also Jimmy knew when to stay out of the way. Yeah, yeah. He understood what they was telling him when they was calling these plays. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like right. you only need for the to most part, right, right. five passes for, the most for part, us to win this game. Fact, so do that. You play your role, right? Play your position. <laughs> and even with Jimmy, like they they jumped, you know, they clashed a little bit. But now you got these young guys that's definitely gonna follow your line. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? And Brock Purdy, Brock stock Purdy went, that's what I'm saying. His stock went from literally here. To here <laughs> like, they in, said, in seven games They said this is his job So He was literally the last pick <laughs> They said this is your, is your job you I know? like that though I like that Yeah man He yeah, he like did that. nothing to lose that job man He like gained that. fans He gained Millions He gained everything Literally and Then if you shout out Mark Purdy For you know Speedy recovery Cause that, you know That injury could take a while It's a Tommy John Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying It could take it's a while To come back I was, I was telling I was trying to tell people though He's gonna be Just fine though Like Yeah as far as and, Coming and, back wise yeah, yeah. yeah I'm like in baseball They sometimes make the players Get that They make that, it Yeah they yeah. Get, get that surgery young They make them You know what I'm saying They so make get it Get out of the way Yeah I was, well, It was had a, a E360 like Maybe like a year, two years ago. The E60? Yeah. E60, I yeah. remember that. Yeah, remember, remember that, that one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. we were talking about they was No, not that school. one. I just remember that show. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They was had, like, they was get telling the high school. They was and in the actually, dark at the round table. And, and they actually yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, improved them. Like, they even yeah. improved them. They, in baseball, yeah. yeah. in baseball, yeah. In baseball, yeah. yeah. So they was telling them to get it early. Yeah. Like you were saying. And they was getting in high school and college. It's literally, it's literally uh, the movie Rookie of the Year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When he hurt his elbow and now he... It's literally... That literally happens. Like, yeah, I'm going to fuck my shit up. But it's... Basically, it's... They're going to tie it back up. And when they tie it up, it's going to be tighter. Right. So... You're going to fling that bitch. Yeah, the fling is a little faster. And right. You're going to throw like a mile or two faster. Right, that's what know? they were saying. That's what they was making and, them get early. And, and in baseball, from 90 to 92... Is a whole round in the draft, like right. <laughs> like Literally, something swear like that. To God, swear to God, it is a whole <laughs> round for real. Real talk. And I faced ninety two before, and I just shared this with somebody because I, I I went to one of the East games uh, against Franklin, and I met one of my old homeboys I played with in, in high school. He was there too. We was chopping it up, and he he graduated the year before my senior year, mm -hmm. so he didn't face the dude from one of the falls that was throwing ninety two. And I like that that ninety two. You don't even know where the ball at. You just swinging nothing, hoping it's there. Like that's a fact. <laughs> yo, that's different. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> but just a week before that, I was hitting eighty eight. Right, like, that's like, what I was saying, like nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like yo, that ninety two is different. <laughs> Four miles per hour is a whole lot, dude. That just, Especially just, in sixty feet. Right. Just you know, just imagine like say you are doing on the treadmill. That's a lot. That's a look. This this is what it, I, I watched the video fast. on this. I watched the video on this. Mm -hmm. They said from 60 feet, I think it's 92 miles per hour they focused on. 92 miles per hour, and this is, a, every, everybody knows this, because this is the most wildest fact in sports, uh -huh. is you got 0.4 seconds from the release of the pitcher's hand to the ball hit that catcher's glove. That's less than a blink. You know what I'm saying? And then that, they, they broke it down. They said just the, just the process that he threw the ball mm -hmm. is like point one, point two, eight, or whatever. Oh, at ninety two. At ninety two, yeah. no, just any, like just, just that. That's how long it takes to recognize. Oh, he threw the ball from right, 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 right. to your brain to your body. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's point one two or whatever. Right, and you only got point four zero. So boom, now you got point two eight. Now you got to figure out. Now you got to figure out where the ball is. And whether you should swing or not, and that take about two. Right. So now you got point zero eight. Just like to second we was talking to about to decide that. whether or to to like 
You got point. It's, it's, it's that much of a difference in baseball. Point zero eight seconds. It's like you said. When when everything slows down to you. You can smack That's that why shit. it's different. Right. That's why That's Barry Bonds got seven hundred and whatever thousand home <laughs> exactly. runs. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's a fact. Because he's whenever he whenever he seen that pitch in his vicinity, bit by yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or, or Derek Jeter, <laughs> like you said, hit for average. Like say he, whenever he needed a hit, the game slowed down. And and and. You, you do things though You do things To help that And that's what IQ is You know what I'm saying IQ You, you do things You For instance What I used to do When I became A better hitter I'm not gonna say I was the best hitter I became a better hitter Than mm-hmm. I was I would never take my eye Off the ball If the pitcher held the ball Behind his back mm-hmm. I'm watching behind his back I don't care I don't care What he's doing yeah. I'm watching what the ball is Cause he might put the Put the pitch In his hand Before he put his hand In the glove so I might get to, oh, he come with a curveball. Oh, he yeah, come yeah. with a fastball. Yeah. Off the rip. Like, yeah. what I know. And that's how I used to just try to, that's how, that was my way of locking in. Now, that's why they say when these people see the baseball as a, as a beach ball. Because mm-hmm. they, 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 they tune in where the ball at. And they, like, they know exactly where it's at. Like, Mickey, for right. instance, like, beach ball. Like, he going to hit the ball. Like, right. It's different. It's different. Yeah, baseball it's different. hard as a motherfucker. Right. That's a short end. That's a long story short. <laughs> baseball is hard as a motherfucker. <laughs> right, right. Get, what, what were we talking about? My bad. I went really on a crazy tangent, but I got to get you know. Right, right. Now, we were just talking about all that. But, you know, talking about IQs, man. And, uh, you know, young man. I'll say young man that definitely impressed me on Saturday, man. You know what I'm saying? What is IQ? What is IQ? Because you... <laughs> Respectfully, he's not known for IQ, literally. <laughs> <laughs> literally. But he know what he's supposed to know when right. he know it. When what he's doing, like you said. <laughs> he might not be, you know, this person yeah. Yeah. outside the yeah. ring yeah. or in the, you know, dugout. Don't or, judge a book by his cover. Right, right, right. <laughs> like you said, he might smack a ball high, baseball IQ, smack it, but he might not, you know, can't do this. But you got tech, man. I wish Man. I had gunshots on this one. I wish I had gunshots. What's it saying? I got the Glock and they ain't got no safety. <laughs> <laughs> Take Davis, man. Take it now. Ryan Garcia, man. In the seventh again, round. again. Because I told you. I in told the seventh you. round. You know what I noticed? He called he called it himself. He said seventh round. Which, yeah, he called it. He definitely called it. That's fire. That's right. on, that's on some Bay Roof shit. You know right. what I'm saying? Speak, keep some, bringing it back to baseball. I got to watch some games, man. Right, right. right but, right. uh, yo. Keep talking. I forgot what I was about to say. I yeah, yeah. Nah, but like I said, man, I was... I, I became a, I, mean, I was already a fan, you know what I'm saying? But I became a bigger fan and respected him more from his IQ, man. Because, yo, he was being calculated like a mug. His I ain't experience. Gonna hold you. Yeah, like I was just looking like he was like. That's a four year difference in experience. Like he was really, the IQ, I was like, yo, his IQ is off the chain. So if you add that to his arsenal, you gotta watch out for him now, for real. Like, like I said, I watched the oh, whole fight in so match. I found out what I was about to say. Boom. He called it. Great, right? Before the fight happened, mm-hmm. it happened on our show. Mm-hmm. It happened right before the fight happened with a conversation I was happen- having about the fight. Uh-huh. Everybody I talked to, I talked to, mm-hmm. that had Ryan Garcia winning, went through their explanation and said, Ryan going to get knocked out. Oh, thinking they said Tank gonna get knocked out, but they corrected themselves. It yeah, happened yeah, yeah. in our show. Right, 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 right. Well, I said knocked out when <laughs> I was I, like, he getting knocked out. And, right, and right, I right. told y'all, I said it, I was like, right at I was like, that's what's gonna happen right now. Right, there. right. <laughs> that's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> it happened more than once. That's a, that's the only point I wanted to yeah, make. Yeah, yeah, you know I get like, it, like you said, right, right. Yeah, man, listen, man. <laughs> you gotta pay attention to the signs that God give you. You do. <laughs> you sure do. You ain't gonna lie. You like you said it. <laughs> If you hear me was talking about it, like I said, if I follow my words, shit, I would think was gonna win. Like I was saying, like Ryan is the scary, you know what I mean? He he's the mouse with the with with, with the you know what I mean? Like he was he was been he was had that just scary look in his face. Like he ain't really wanna and, and, you know battle with the dog. You know what I'm saying? And and that's fire too, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, at the time I'm I'm calling it out, like, you know, this bullshit, whatever, whatever, right? But I watched the interview with George Foreman, mm-hmm. and he said something interesting, and it took me back. 
and so all the other for me in that it bag. took me back to all the other interviews of old fighters I saw, and most of these great fighters, yo, they be like, "Shit, I was scared as hell in that ring." Yeah. I was knocking him out before he could knock me out. Basically, yeah. that's how it. So, right. so I can understand how you feel like that now that I watched the, that and then like had like, damn, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I understand, but nah, not right there. Yeah. Not right there. Tank showed a different power. You know what I'm saying? A different level of power, I should mm. say. Mm -hmm. Um, I w I was always I said it, I, I've been telling people I was, I've said it for two years on this show. The only thing that scared me about Tank is he leave himself open when he throw hard. And it happened in the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got hit I, once I, I, yeah, I yeah. seen I seen the left hook land. Yeah, facts. But I also seen it like not affect Tank right. at all. Got a hard head. <laughs> and I was like, oh, Tank don't give a fuck. Like Tank know his power ain't fucking with him and all right. that. He gonna do. But Especially it, after you take a hit, right? Yeah, right. it was a very happens. interesting fight though, because it was a lot of strategy going on. Yeah, it was a lot of strategy, and you know, this is one of those. This is why. This is why we love uh, super fights that you know the fans want to see because we should be so tuned in. You notice so much, right? You know what I'm saying? So, Tank on 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 the Showtime thing, right? Mm -hmm. Let me get to this point, right? Tank on the Showtime, and they asked him what was his favorite knockout. I think he said what Leo Santa Cruz. That's what he said. I think he said that, but he, but more importantly, his explanation was he threw the same punch three times, and he said, "How would you throw the same punch three times?" And on the third punch, he blah, you know, knocked him out cold. Right. And on the knockdown in the second, if you watch the replay, mm -hmm. what does Ryan Garcia to do? He throws the same combo three straight times, and on the third time, Tank ducked it. <laughs> you got him, yeah. <laughs> like, why would you throw the same thing? Like you said, times? IQ, man. Like I said, yeah. I was definitely impressed with the IQ, man, for real. That's what I like, most impressed me, if anything. Like, I know he had everything else. Like, he a dog. Like, he got the, he gonna keep the knock you out, knockout skills, and all that. But that IQ was definitely that that moment. That moment though was oh my god. Definitely. So you so you know you, you go of course you know what I'm saying it's it's a boxing match everybody's arguing who's going to win whatever mm -hmm. right so but you go arguing with people like you know I'm trying to I'm trying to, I'm trying different angles you know what I'm saying I'm not trying the same questions I, I at one point I asked somebody what don't you like about Tank mm -hmm. he couldn't really give me a straight answer so in my head I'm like so why ain't you going for Tank because you can't even name something you don't like you right, know what right. I'm saying yeah, yeah. in my head right but so the first the first round happens. And, t and, 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 and as soon as it ends, as soon as the bell rings, mm -hmm. I turn to him and I go, Tank won the fight already. They're like, what you mean? It's the first round. Like, you ain't seen him popping off. Him? I'm like, bruh, he fighting Tank fight. The whole build up, Ryan Garcia was, oh, you don't throw no punches. I'm about to turn it up on you. I'm trying to turn it up. Uh, uh, uh. In that first round, no punches was thrown like that. That told me Ryan Garcia is fighting Tank's fight because Tank yeah. don't never throw in the first round. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I said, "Yo, the fight's over. Tank won. He's fighting this fight. He's not fighting." But so when the second round came out, Ryan Garcia came out swinging. He came out swinging. He came out hype. He came ha 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 ha. And I seen Tank like trying to slow. He, he was doing the Holyfield on Tyson. When you just grab him. Like, I'm going to grab you. I'm going to slow down the fight. You ain't going to be able to throw your punches. But the ref wasn't fucking with him. The ref wasn't doing none of that. The ref, ref was, was like, niggas, fight. The ref was letting them niggas tackle for yeah. a minute. I'm like, damn. Yeah, the ref was like, nah, fight. So so the third time, after the third time when he grabbed him and he looked at the ref like, you're not going to break us up real quick and set, reset us. And Ryan got them boom, boom off. And they kind of caught him real solid. That's when that knockdown happened. That's when Tank was like, all right, fuck it. We were to fight then. And that's when the knockout happened. Remember, he said the seven. Mm -hmm. So he was trying to drag it out. And he right. ended up doing it because that third round came. So first of all, boom, people still talking shit. You see him? Because Ryan turning up. Ah, 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 ah. He throwing wild. They're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Bop. Straight like Silence. that. Silence. Oh, everybody else. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> silent. I was like, damn. That third round came out. Ryan ain't throwing no punches. I was like, yo, he's scared. Yeah, nah. Uh, <laughs> I was like, yo, he's listen, scared. <laughs> listen, my like damn Max said, you scared? Go to church. And Ryan already was in church. Yeah, he came out. And <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He was already in church then. And like I said, he was in church beforehand, man. Like I said, he, you know, he said, everybody come in scared, but once you get that smack, and then you get it early, that changed your everybody, whole spectrum. Shout out to Mike Tyson. Mm-hmm. Everybody got planned until you punch in the face. That's what I'm saying. That's for sure. <laughs> That's for sure. And like I said, he was already coming in there with that, you know, kind of scared shit. You know what I'm saying? So Yo, he was mad to get, nervous. To get, I'm, I've been saying, that's what I'm saying. That's why I should have read myself. Because I was saying that from the beginning. I'm like, this nigga, he is scared. Like, you know. And he was scared beforehand. Like I said, when they was in the club, but they were talking about oh, he was going to take his chain and all that. Like he was crying and everything. Like before leading up to it, so I saw all that, you know, intimidation and all that. You know what I mean? But I thought, you know what I mean? That'll bring out the. He told him, "Don't bring your kid. Don't bring your family. Right, don't come. Don't bring. Don't bring your family. Right. That's a fact. Don't do it." Cause I'm gonna break your jaw. Right. He was on this Tyson shit. Oh, right. I love it. Yo. Right, and that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying with the intimidation. Like that just made him even more intimidating. Like that, you know. I'm gonna bring him. I'm gonna he bring him. Like, him. like I'm gonna bring him. I'm gonna bring him. Like, come on, man. He chin checked. And him. then we're doing like the press conference and stuff like that. Like I was like, damn. Mind games. It's mind games. And you, that's what you got to do it in boxing. Oh yeah, that's you know all it saying? is. And especially like I said, especially when you see the fear. Like I said. Well, Romeo, they was these, they was fighting and whatever. Romeo, they both just just yapping. That was different. Like I, I was like, okay, I know Tank was a better fighter. Yeah. But Romeo was these standing up. So when you see with the Ryan, you saw the fear in his eyes. Like I saw it, the eyes. I just tell people with their eyes. I'm like, oh yeah. But not mm-hmm. a knockout. Not a knockout. I don't saying. No, I'm saying now the knockout. Yeah. How did you feel when that happened? When when the, when he hit when when Ryan took the knee? How how was what was your reaction? Shit, I thought I was. I thought real time. I'm like, he gonna take the whole time to get his wind up. You know what I mean? That's what a lot about. I'm gonna take this whole nine seconds. You know what I'm saying? Get up, shake the hands, ref. You good? You wanna fight? Yeah. He do that and then you know fight. Make last the round and then go from there. But when he didn't get up, when he looked at Tank, he said, "Damn, you got me." He that's what he basically without saying anything. Yeah. It was one of those like fuck. Like you are that nigga, man. I exactly. don't want. I don't want to fight exactly. no more. Exactly. I don't want to fight no more. That's and that's what I, I think. That's what happened. I understand the shot hurts and shit like that or whatever, but I think he just felt all that power and he'd be like you know what? Before I get out here and be a mean and get knocked out the ring for real, let me say my face a little. Let bit. me yeah. Let me say a my face bit. a little bit. A little. I bit. mean, people think you know oh, I should have fought whatever. Yeah, bro. a little bit. But, but listen, his body did not let him fight. I promise you, when you watch that replay, play close attention to what his body naturally does. Facts. He gets hit in that rib and that liver, and that he, he was in this stance. He was in this stance. No, no, he was in this stance. He threw the punch, got hit, and his whole body jerked like this, and his arm went like this. And that was that was his body telling him, I don't give a fuck what you do next. Just do not let him touch right here again. Back. <laughs> Back. And he turned it like he, that's why he was the other way. Right. And then he took the knee. His body was not letting him yeah, get up. Yeah, Trust facts. me. It facts. wasn't just him. Yeah, nah. That's I what, mean, I'm I'm sure in his head he said, This motherfucker hit hard. That's what I'm saying, Vax. But also his body no. was like, no, this motherfucker hit hard. Vax, that's what I'm that's what I'm saying though. From getting like I said, getting knocked down in the what the second round, and then you get that body shot. That he never felt that he never felt probably that pain ever in his life. Other than probably sparring, cause you know sparring go down. So he might have got I lost somebody might have got a lucky bunt. But to go down and the Lights, camera, action on you. You just like fuck. Like it's a seventh round. I probably won two rounds. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Like you said, my body. Yeah, he (laughs) dropped me already. My body is just hurting right now. They got this blood coming out my nose, man. And fuck. Right, he was bleeding out his nose from that first punch, though. Yeah, Everybody everybody, everybody was talking about how you get hit in the stomach and start bleeding from your nose. You know you fucked. Nah, he had that. Nah, he had that. It just you know when you. Boxing, you yeah. you know you wipe it and shit. Yeah. It just at that time and when you felt everything, everything just coming out and 
Yeah, man. Like I said, I was very, like I said, I became more of a Tanker fan, like more of a believer, I would yeah. say, because I was always a fan, but more of a believer, like, yo, this kid with this IQ. They still got Haney, put some respect on his name, my bad. Yeah, like Haney, nah, Haney, you ain't messing with him, bro. You don't think Haney messing with Tank? Nah. It's a lot of people saying Tank can't fuck with Haney still. Nah. I, I got, if, if, if the fight was happening, say August, I'm taking Tank, man. I just think that IQ, K-O? man. They, no, that's the thing though. That's I want, the thing. I, Haney's I want, high Q ain't, that's what I'm, ain't No, I, he high, yeah, that's really high. To, that's what I'm saying. No, that's, that's what, why he's the champion. Facts. And that's what got him to the championship. Because mm-hmm. he, you know, he ain't really known for, you know, he knocked people out, but he ain't known like Tank for knocking people out, like mm-hmm. that power. His is that IQ, and I'm gonna take it the distance and I'm gonna outbox you. But with Tank with this one, like I said, I know, you know, Garcia's, you know, he was up and coming cat or whatever, but just to use his IQ on him and shit like that, man. I was very impressed, and I would take Tank in that fight. It was a fight, you know what I'm saying? Like the next fight, you know. What I mean? Yeah, I, I pretty much think that um, Shakur the only one that oh, got a Shakur chance. That Shakur is that nigga. It's but the, I think it's the only one I feel like got a chance with him right now. I think with Shakur though, I think and, and if if he fight if there was a fight right now, I'd take Tank. I think but, so too. That's yeah. That's kind of where I'm getting. Right, right, but. You give Shakur another year, two years, another two, three fights, ain't nobody messing with that cat. Because they really ain't nobody messing with him now. The, um, the only thing I, I would say about that is I, I was saying it too because that was somebody's argument for Ryan, uh, for Ryan, like in, in favor of Ryan Garcia. Mm-hmm. Oh, Tank ain't never fought nobody like Ryan. Yeah. And my whole thing was, boy, Ryan ain't never right. fought no Tank. What you right. talking about? Like, Right. That, that wasn't, <laughs> like I said, that wasn't, like I said, my thing wasn't, mine was none of that argument because, like I said, I I wasn't a big follower of, of, you know, like I followed Tank more than Ryan, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, as far as that aspect, I was just like, I just felt like, all right, he's the underdog. Let me rock with the, yeah. let, me, let me keep with the underdog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, that's that was my that, thing. That's traditional. I guess, yeah, that was my thing, you know what I'm saying? Human nature, I guess. Right. <laughs> you know that saying? was my thing, but then, like I said, if I was the, Go back and rewind the tapes and just hear myself say it. It was like proof was. Yeah, in I should have been tank. Right. Yeah. Like what? Like you saying tank gonna beat him. Basically. But like you said, everybody roots for the underdog and this time. Hey, man, shout out to boxing though. That was Facts. the first big fight. We need more of them joints, man. That's a fact. Everybody was in the house, you know what I'm saying? Watching them, you know what I'm saying? He came out, you know what I mean? Chief Keith, you know what I mean? Like, like I said, man, it was a great. That was fire. Great, great boxing. That was fire. Yeah, that yeah. got the whole everywhere lit. Everywhere it was lit. When Facts. Chief we needed the live though. Like he needed to be talking. <laughs> like, they, 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 <laughs> they hold the mic on. That was wild on that aspect. You know what I'm saying? But definitely shout out to boxing, man. You know what I'm saying, like I said, take it back to NFL though, man. What you think about you know players getting suspended still for betting, man? Like. What's up with this, man? Like, it's, it's, they retarded. <laughs> like, what's up, man? Like, do you think it's like fair? Like, what? Like, what you what you think um, about it? Matter of fact, Cause some got six games. Some like you couldn't bet in the facility or whatever. How or whatever, however it was, but the um, only thing I found funny about it was uh, you can't bet on other sports. It was like I said, it was weird, weird stuff. Like, I like, didn't read the whole thing. Why like, I can't bet on the baseball game if I like play it, football? That's like, what I'm saying. Like, it was weird What shit. you mean? Like, like, it was very weird stipulation. Like you said, in the facility, you can't bet. Or, like, it was just weird the stuff. The player's like, still dumb as hell, though, because, like, your name come right up when you right. sign up. Like, what Facts. You, like, what you talking about? Like, what Facts. you doing? Facts. So, you can't ha- really have no excuse for them, but it's like, mm. it, 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 it is a cause for discussion because it's like... How are we going to fix this? Cause maybe, maybe, maybe we, maybe we know that we ain't gonna have a lot of smart. Like I said, it got, it got to be something. You know what I'm saying? Or some stipulations. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, going back to Pete Rose betting on the game, but um, I just think you should just not. You, you could bet, just don't like bet on your team. That's all. Or like or bet do on a your paper game. Paper parlay. You said paper. Yeah, they, they got paper parlay still. Yeah, it's still running around. You know what I'm saying? Just do that. Stop, stop getting on your phone and putting your information into the database. <laughs> Have your wife or somebody, a girlfriend or somebody do it. Nah, it's too close, man. It's too close. But they even with that, that, though, like I said, they got their own. You can say that they got their own money. But in general, man, I think, uh, yeah, like, like I, I, sh- I would say just don't bet on your team. Like, that should just, just be don't the bet on your sport. 
Don't bet on your sport during your during the season. Well, that's, that's the same shit, man. Don't, don't bet, bet on your sport. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. You can bet on yeah. every other any other thing but your sport. That's it. Until the Super Bowl. <laughs> Every, you know what I'm saying? That's like you know, that's the Super Bowl shit. That's the most popular, uh, you know, thing other than like the, the 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 soccer. You know what I mean? But yeah, I just think like you said, I, I would I would say yeah, don't bet on your own sport and then go from there. Let you bet. You know what I'm saying? Too many rules. Yeah, man, let's talk about the NBA playoffs, man. Playoffs. My boys are three one. How you feeling? I'm feeling like feeling like second round. Of course, I'm feeling the, like three <laughs> one. I'm feeling like the second round, but I ain't feeling like I still ain't feeling like the championship. Man. Yeah, 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 it's like cool. Like we we whooping their ass, cool, but whatever. That's kind of how I feel right now. Yeah, no, I, I mean it's understandable. I'm, I'm having I'm having more fun, you know, catching the other teams' storylines. Right yeah, now, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, yeah, that's definitely. I've seen this story before. Well, I mean, it was cool making right. the playoffs <laughs> as a five C, but as a AFC, we ain't running. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. Just like we was talking about beforehand, we was talking about your team and my team beforehand coming into the playoffs, like playing in the play in. Like, That's right, yeah. It I'm was trying. like, yeah, I ain't make the playoffs. All right, cool. One out, one and done. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. But yeah, but like I said, at least you get to watch your boys. You it's know been what exciting. Saying? You know what I'm saying? Jimmy Butler been balling. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like this is the first round. You know what I'm saying? And the last time he, you know, he he's known for this. You know what I'm saying? But playoff Jimmy, man, playoff Jimmy, we know different. But the last times we seen it was to get into the, you right, know, right. to get to the finals and or stuff. NBA finals itself. So this is like Shit. this is like, I feel like he's gonna be way too tired out by the end of this. Like it's really just him. <laughs> yeah, man. Poor, <laughs> poor Jimmy. It's really just him. Poor Jimmy. But uh, that's what we was talking about getting help and stuff. Like it's gonna changes gonna are gonna happen, but. Definitely shout out to y'all. Like I said, you know, hey man, you get extra extra time to watch your team, even though they, you know, like you said, you know they ain't gonna do nothing. But you no, know, you be like, yeah, my team's still playing. All right, cool. But like but, I said, yeah, you follow other story me wrong. <laughs> fact, you, hell, especially for your own team. Hell yeah, prove, prove me wrong, wrong like a motherfucker. Word, that's a fact. Prove me all the way wrong. I'm gonna keep talking like this, but you can keep proving, <coughs> proving me wrong. But yeah, man, like you said, it's a bulletin board material. Facts, facts. But like you said, your boys, you know Sam what I mean? TV don't think we about to do shit. Let's show him. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> show any Dre, man. He ain't no heat fan, man. He ain't no heat fan, man. He no he fan, man. <laughs> Let's get him. But yeah, shout out to the Heat, though. Like you said, with the Bucks. Giannis been banged up, but hey, man. That's in y'all advantage. It, this is what it is. Everybody banged up, you know? Yeah, super pause moment. You seen that? <coughs> Which one? <coughs> so, yeah, this has been a lot of super pause moments. Saying you know he hurt his tailbone, mm -hmm. so you know he got a massage the tailbone. Yeah. <laughs> so, pause. Pause. <laughs> you had to pause everything, but uh, you know I paused every, and literally was like, I forgot fucking Ben Simmons is playing even in the league. <coughs> Shout out to Philly for sweeping the nets, man. I saw him on the net side, and I said. I forgot about Ben Simmons, bro. Terrible. Terrible. That's terrible, man. Terrible. Niggas know about yeah, we know. Haslam before Ben Simmons, man. Terrible. I saw him on the street. I said, oh, shit. I forgot this nigga played for the Nets. Y'all in the playoffs. You still ain't playing again. Right. I'm like, yo, I forgot. Mental health. God damn. Shout out to mental health. Yeah, mental Get health is real, man. Definitely that. go check it out for sure. But, damn. Yeah, you know, Philly... Philly beat Philly. the Nets, you know they, they they swept them. You know what I mean? Let them out of there. They the only, I still don't believe in James Harden. They're the only team to sweep. You know what I mean? I still don't believe in James Harden. NBA. No. You still don't believe Harden? Nope. I'm sticking to it. Hey man, I got Philly going all the way. Man. I like I like Philly going all the way. That's man. cool. They got a nice sweep. They got your boys winning. They got Atlanta, you know, taking Boston to six games. You know what I'm saying? So. They won the night or something? They won the night, you know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a boss. You know what I mean? They get the rest. Like, you know, they Philly at home, you know what I mean? Joel Embiid, you know what I mean? Getting all massaged all up, you know what I mean? Healed up, you know what I mean? James Harden working on this step back, you know what I mean? Like I said, Philly, Philly. I got Philly because I think they're probably the most healthiest. They sat Embiid the last game because they like, we up. They ain't like, you know, like uh, uh, they don't want Giannis to that right got now. hurt, you know what I'm saying? That's that's <clears> he had to sit. But you know, you got 
Kawhi with the Clippers. Like they they stole the game. How you feel about Kawhi, man? What is Let's just get to it. How you feel about him? Kawhi? I mean, great player. Uh you would want him on your franchise because Would you? It seemed like he gave he, up a lot. Because he's Kawhi. I'm just saying cause because of the talent itself. Like if you a team, like you would want him on your team, but I would say Say like right now, I'll be tired of him too, though. Like, yo, all right, man. Like you've been here a couple of years. Like you've been in this low management. It's the same injury. Yeah, it's the same little kind of thing going <clears throat> on. Like, all right, man. Are you scared? Maybe or are you, you running really back. fucked up. Fires what? Like, are you scared to, to fuck get fuck your shit up, or are you really fucked up? Oh, you talking about for quite you, itself? Yeah. Because when you in here, you dropping fifty. Yeah, but that's why I'm saying that you would want him on your team because you got. Talent wise, you know the talent is there. It just be coming up, being on the floor. I literally feel like he just said, "I got to work this hard in the first round. I know we ain't doing shit. I ain't playing." So he going. He using your analogy far as the heat. Like we here, but I'm yeah. not doing anything. Right? Like, why? Why I injure myself? I'm trying to play hard when we gonna be first round exit anyways. If I'm here or not, that's like why we, I feel like he. Don't. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I believe some of that is in his head. Yeah. Like, fuck that. I'll come back next year. PG hurt. If PG was here, I'm playing every game. You know what I mean? Spider Mitchell, you know, break his finger or do whatever to his finger. He like, they ruled him out. He like, man, I'm playing. There ain't no what but. I'm playing this game. You know what I'm saying? And that game is, you know, tied 2-2-9. Two, two, he like, I'm playing. I ain't got a finger. That's when you control the ball. You shoot with everything. You know what I'm saying? Pause. And he's like, I'm playing. And you got your... Tyrone Lu, Tyrone Lou words that came out of his mouth. When Kawhi played all the minutes like the first game of the of the playoffs. When they, you know, they obviously they 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 took game one, right, I believe. He was like, This is why we this is why we was uh, resting them all season four. To play big minutes in the playoffs. And then you sat after the three games. After that, he sat out. Literally, that was like I was like, Yo, that's crazy. That he literally just said this and then this man just said, nah. I ain't feeling good, man. My shit sore or whatever the fuck you got going on. It's sore because you ain't playing, bro. Like I'm gone. Like, but that's what like you. Like that shit but, is really logical. Like, yeah. But like I said, that's what you sign up for when you got great players. Like you know, you hear all the former players. You know I'm saying you hear all the former players. I went to a, I went to a recent practice. That ain't no practice. No motherfuckers go through shoot around, do a couple drills, and go the fuck home. We had practices. Facts. I'm sure before. I'm sure before they generation, the players I'm talking about, right. I'm sure before they generation, they was practicing. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Four hours a day right, type right. shit. You just, know what just like what you're saying, like what you said, you know what I mean? I think last episode, you know what I mean? Like I said, check us out on YouTube. But um, you was like, you know, some great players did just come up to play. You know what I mean? And now that's definitely that generation, especially basketball. Well, a lot of sports, I would say. Once they get into a certain age, it's like, you know what I mean? I got these injuries. I'm not going to play practice like this. I'm not gonna practice. I'm just gonna play. You know what I mean? They last that Iverson talking about practice. Look, you got these cats barely practicing. They might do a walkthrough, and then they go on to play in the game. And look, they still injured. Mm-hmm. Anybody that's on that wear and still you gotta yeah, build you got to build it. You got to tear it to build it up, right? Mm, yep. That's like working out. You got to tear it to build it up. And like I said, it's, it's crazy. Um, like not I said, not literal tears. Like yeah, you know yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean literal tears, but not no ACL. Right, 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 right. But um. <laughs> Yeah, if I'm a Clippers fan, man, I, I your name is uh, running back, right? And if you stay on that same shit next year, <laughs> we gotta talk, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like we we tried it. Uh, we understand. We respect you as the as quiet a player. You know what I mean? As the person, but nah, man, we 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 gone, man. Like you ain't, like I said, this ain't like Paul George. Like I said, he literally was hurt, like and it's out. Like you, like. Just been your church. Just been your been following you for since Thursday. You know what I'm saying? And Toronto let it slide, but they got a chip. They got a chip. And even when we resigned you, it was kind of iffy. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, they would resign you because you're Kawhi Leonard. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. With teams will still sign them and shit like that. But now, nah, just a disclaimer. After this is definitely, definitely a disclaimer. Like, bro, we ain't giving you no max, man. We'll give you. Close to Mac, but you ain't getting no Mac. On the other hand, yep. Still in LA. You mm-hmm. got the oldest, what, oldest player in the league? 
No, I mm. got that. So. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. We're damn near. Right, right. You're up you know there. what I'm saying? You're up there for sure. He King, over, man. he over on the other side. And they up three one. The real, the real LA team. Yeah. The only other, you know, they begin on with yeah. the Clippers and that. Shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, they they up three one. Three one. You know man. what I'm saying? And it's kind of like it's it's kind of like in a way. I'm kind of leaning towards all the analysts that kind of change their heart at the end. Like, oh, yeah, I think the Lakers yeah, going. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, watch the last episode. We was talking about the same thing, right? Yo, like, what you feeling about the Lakers? And I say, yeah, they can win. LeBron is different. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And talk about, you know, availability. He heard something pop in his foot. And then he said, what, three weeks later? Hey, the doctor said he ain't never seen nobody healed like me. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor also said when the injury happened, like, this is something that could end your season. Yeah. He's like, nah, I'm out of play. What are you talking about? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. it's a, it's Adrian Peterson, superhuman <clears throat> alien genes. And so, that's like, what practicing, and that's what doing. You know what I mean? Kawhi, if Kawhi was to follow that resume, he could be that same way. Mm-hmm. Spend your money. Facts. On, on you. On you. Know you. What I'm saying, not on no blue check. Definitely. I just, <laughs> in general, invest your money in yourself, man. You, said, you see how he, no matter how, what you see, you see how you he stood on that? And Elon was like, nah, I need LeBron James right. to have this blue check. Facts. I pay for it. God damn. Word. You better pay for it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, like I said, the king and them, you know what I mean? They up 3 1 on the Grizzlies, even with. They looking good, man. Even with, you know. AD man, he's another one like bro. AD up and down, up and like, down. What the up fuck, and down, bro? Man. Like you drop forty four and then you drop twelve and then you like, drop come on, bro. Like, thirty three and then you drop seven. Like, like it's crazy how this game is up and down, man. What you think it is though? Like I don't know what the fuck it is. I can't even explain. Like with Kawhi, you can say, oh, he just he just ain't available. But with AD, I don't know. Think he got like ADHD or something? Like he can't. He don't be paying attention <laughs> in the next game. <laughs> Probably, man. <laughs> he be Probably. zoned out. He be zoned out, watching, man. Watching people do their shit. Probably, like, man. I don't know. LeBron had, LeBron had to get 20 rebounds Come for on. the first time in his career. 20, 20, and 7. Come on, man. LeBron should have to <laughs> fucking lead the fucking team in fucking rebounds, bro. You down low, bro. Like you, That's what you do, bro. <laughs> that's what bro. you do. You power forward, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be one of them. Talent wise, man, he could be a top five, top ten player in the league overall. And that's what everybody's been saying for the longest. That's Long why it's time, like, man. What the, uh, right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, just got to the give game. him some props. He did come up clutch with some blocks and stuff. Yeah. And that's what, and I've seen somebody say, like, that's what he's known for, though, coming out of college. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. No, right. Kenny Smith was saying it. Kenny yeah. Smith, he was like, coming up. And I remember that. I, I, I felt him on that. Like, he came out averaging like 10 blocks a game. You know? right, right. Like, well, maybe, like I said, everybody put the goalposts high, as they say. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But, but. Because he's number one Two things pick. can be true. Shaq was like, but he was in New Orleans giving 40 a night. <laughs> he just wasn't playing all the time. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's a scorer, too. Like, right. Man. That's a, That's a fact, though. That's proven. Like I said, he got the track record. And he got the yeah. tape that he can drop 40. Like when we was talking about the Twin Towers, you know what I mean? The, the skyscrapers with him and Buggy, you know what I'm saying? Like, he can drop them points. He just, he can't stay on the court. Same for LA. He, every little thing, you be like, damn, he if out he, again? Yeah. But now it's like, now the game is up and down too. If, 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 if he could catch his stretch right now, yeah. I, then I, I would be but that, a firm kind of believer that LeBron can do that shit and get a chip, yo. Yeah, because, but it's all on Anthony Davis' ability to be consistent, at least twenty five points a game. Listen, man, at least twenty five points a game. I don't even think that's too much. Nah, me. listen, if if a if AD can average twenty and ten, Lakers can they easily, cruise. I easily like, win the championship. I like how they play. Like I like when I watch. Like yeah. I like to do Rui Rui Hachimura or whatever. Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like him. I, I loved that pick on the pick them for yeah. Washington. I was like, yo, I didn't nice. know him like that. I yeah, didn't know I was him like, like he's nice in Washington and just he was in Washington. And he's gonna come in LA and be the fifth, sixth option. Like, bro, he's nice. And what what you call it said, uh Bain just like he can't do it again. That man be averaging fifteen off the bench. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then oh, and then Dylan Brooks just lighting the fire onto everything. That, that was see, 
See LeBron, you know LeBron getting mad old. Like he feel like everybody died. He can talk, he can talk to whoever how he want to. Like what you gonna do? I'm an old head. Like you know, what I mean? he was. That was the first time I seen LeBron walk up to somebody and press him. Like yo, you trash. To talk about. Like that was the first time I seen LeBron do that. Yeah, yeah. What did he say? Though? He said he was trash. I think he said you a bum or some shit. Like uh, he was just talking junk, bum. little junk, junk, little yeah. junk to him. But clean junk though. It looked like you, it ain't look like an old press. You seen his face though, like. Yeah, all right. You think right, you right. all that? And Dylan Brooks couldn't say nothing back. Right, right. Because right. at the end of it, like, what well, Shaq said, you say you don't expect no man until he get 40 on you. Well, you got 20 and 20. That's 40. Right, that's 40. <laughs> that's a fact. That's a fact, man. That's a fact. So sit your ass up, man. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely got to sit your But like I said, everyone, you know, like I said, everyone, I got to have that guy. And, you know what I mean? He made his name, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, playing defense and stuff like that. So you got to ride with it sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he want to. You know, take a couple steps back on it. Like, oh, everybody put me the that's, villain, but that was his big. Nah, that's his biggest mistake, though. Taking it back. Yep. Right. I agree. Yep. A thousand percent. Way too early, too, though. Like, way too early. Way too. Are you supposed to stand on that? Got to stand on anything, bro. What's you got to. This is that's what you that. made your name. You got to still be like, he ain't no forty on me. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you made your name. I'm talking about just even before yeah. this series. That's what you made your name to being a little villain, being a little Pat Bevish, like. You know what I mean? I might not be the best at everything, but I'm in the league. I'm a starter, and I'm gonna play hard. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know. Trey Young is the number one overrated player in the league, according yep. to an anonymous yeah. hundred whatever. Yep. I mean, we was talking about Trey Young, man. All that. See, man, they be listening to us, man. Definitely like, subscribe, man. Fam TV, man. Or, but like, I heard somebody say, nah, that's Dylan Brooks. <laughs> Dylan nah, they've been on Dylan Brooks' ass. Pause. They've been on him Pause. for real. Hey, shout out to shout out, uh, Cam and Mace show, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've been on him for real. Like, they've been on, like, even, like, uh, uh, you know, the analysts would be like, what what does he do? Like, you know what I mean? They start doing percentage. They be like, this nigga shoot, like, 10% Ooh. from free throw, three points. This nigga barely rebound. Like, what like, does who? he do? Like, I think I, Skip Bayless was on his ass this morning. That's what like, I'm saying. Everybody on the pause. Skip like, Bayless is like, yo, like the more you, the more you, the more and, you uh, analyze his shit. Like I used to think he was a good defender, but then I look and he ain't really a good defender either. Like, <laughs> come on, come on now, <laughs> Pat Bev, come on now. You look at Pat Bev, like Pat Bev will make one like crazy play a game, but they love Pat Bev though. But nigga LeBron still pulling forty. You want to say like the top scorers are still scoring on him? But you can say he that just played hard, right? Yeah, Iggy, absolutely. Iggy held LeBron to a triple double, thirty point triple double, and, and he swear, won. He won the Finals MVP because swear, of that. And they swear he, he was locking them up, right? They that's that's they swear he was locking he locked them up. up just enough. He ain't let right. him hit forty. He made one and way, <laughs> right? He made one key play. Like well, LeBron's <laughs> average <the> triple double. <laughs> You made one key play. A high triple double, though. You know what like, I'm not no right. 10, 10, and 10. He was having 30, 10, and 10. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I don't give a fuck like triple double in general. Like, you, you, <laughs> he was in the mix. But yeah, you know, all that stuff is overrated, man. Like you said, but he just, you know, they like the loud mouth, so they, you know, he, hey, you making this name for yourself, bro. So. Nah, Iggy wasn't no loud mouth, though. He, he, no, 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 absolutely. Nah, he was I ain't just talking about the Iggy. surprise of that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't talking about Iggy, but yeah. I just, that's just a staple in LeBron's thing. Like, LeBron's just great. Lance yeah. Stevenson. Yeah, you, right, know, what you know what I'm saying? Like, Lance Stevenson, same thing. Like, he'll have a good game or two that he'll go crazy, dance on each, shoot a couple yeah, threes. But you know him more for throat blowing in LeBron. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, exactly. You know what I'm that's all you know. Him that's what made him, though, get them checks, though. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to, you know, your position, man, and play it, man. And Brooks is playing, well, you know, for, for, till now is playing, and, and I think he should continue to just ride with it. Fuck it. Ride nah, with it. Work late, on your nah. game. It's too late, nah. He said, Backing nah, up. nah, nah. I nah, I just think he... I ain't he, talking to y'all. Yeah, yeah. Like that. I ain't talking nah, to he need one more game, man. Just get one more game <laughs> and go back to talking shit. Hopefully somebody... If I was in this camp, I'd be like, yo, nah, keep talking your shit. This is what got you here. <laughs> you feel? That's what I got you got to say. This is what got you here, bro. This is what's gonna keep in the league. Cause if Pat Bear wasn't talking junk, Pat Bear probably won't be in the league. But Pat Bear talk junk. Pat Bear, I love you, him. man. You from you Chicago? Welcome to that. Chicago. You heard him. But you heard him. If Rudy Gobert was six eight, he ain't in the league. Like I'm gonna keep going back to certain things, but yeah, for sure. Yeah. 
With Dylan Burks. Keep doing you, man. Like I said, hey, you in the league. It's like Kwame Brown, man. I put my mama on a golf course. <laughs> you winning, man. You still winning in life, man. You start for a playoff team, man. You feel me? You heard? So, hey, go that, for it. Take, take it the positive way, yeah. Right, take it the positive way, for sure. But like I said, we was alluding to earlier with the, you know, you got Golden State. Yeah. And Sacramento, which I think is the best series going on right With now. The Rochester Kings. Rochester Kings, baby. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Sacramento. That's we only shouting y'all out because y'all used to be us. Facts. That too. Plus, you know, one of my favorite players, like so I, was, I had to see Webb Sacramento jersey. Okay. Okay. C Webb was okay. out there. Shout out to that. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> listen, my boys, we, we wasn't great for all forever. So we you know, know. King Kings. The real ones know. The right. real ones know. Somebody somebody posted, I think, the nine years. Uh, the nine years that that uh, uh, Jordan didn't win the championship, and it was like, <laughs> I'm saying it like just hating, like this is the years that y'all don't talk about though. Right, fact, <laughs> you know, so fact. they don't, they don't. Listen, before, like you said, the playoffs and do whatever, and then after, like I said, if you a real Bulls fan, you know after, well, them niggas, ooh, we went through some years. I man. see, uh, yo, I heard we had talent, yo, but we couldn't put it together. Yo, I heard, I heard Deshaun Jackson mm-hmm. on, on, on I am athlete. I heard mm-hmm. him say, no Kim Joel. No Kim Joel. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, who they had? No Kim Joel over there, right? <laughs> and they was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you tell him to follow him. His name's straight. Yeah, oh, athlete. Football, His name's straight football. football. Players, like, yeah, that's him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no Kim Joel. <laughs> no Kim Joel. It's, it's Joe Kim Noah. Bro. Right, right. <laughs> Like you said, that's all you know football, man. When you locked in, you locked in. <laughs> he had the letters right though. I was dying laughing. Like, yo, there ain't nobody checking with nothing. Nah, ain't nobody checking. <laughs> they just let him rock out. But, yeah, man, like I said, we had our years, you know what I'm saying? But, for sure. That's the worst shot in history. I ain't gonna lie. What? Joking, you know. Worst shot? Yeah, the ugliest shot in history. Nah, that's a couple. I can't think of the top of my head. Joe Kim Noah got the ugliest mm-hmm. shot in history. Nah, it's somebody that shoot two hands that's in the league right now, too. That just shit just ugly. It be going in, though. But I forgot. And it's some ugly free throw ones, too. Oh, it's terrible. But, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, you got. It's the, him and Sean Marion. It's like. Oh, Sean Marion shit was ugly, too. <laughs> but Sean Marion shit would go in, though. You know what I'm saying? Talk about, though, like, talking about. <laughs> Right, that shit was just weird. <laughs> Talking about defensive player, that's what he was known for too. You know what I mean? Shout out to Sean Marion. You know he went to the he went from Phoenix. He got traded to the Heat. That was a big trade for the Heat too. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Like I said the Kings and you know what I mean Golden State, man. That's a great series, man. You have the, the only clutch player of the year. You know what I mean? NBA award season is that time. Clutch. This is the first year the clutch player. Okay, I wanted to say, who won the fuck? It's the first year. Yeah. yeah. De'Aaron Fox won that. You know what I'm saying? He definitely well deserved. How he won that? What you mean? How he won it? Like, what, what, what was the accolades that made him win the clutch player of the year? That he went get? Did he get like four be a buzzer beaters or something? I think it was. That had something to do with it. Like that, and like just coming up. Like this is kind of his year that Kings made the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? He's being spotlighted now. Like he always been nice, but now he's stepping that game up to another level. Like so, the Kings made the playoffs, and they all that. And then obviously, so, by him doing his thing, the Kings making the playoffs from worst to fucking first, just about. Literally, and they got Mike Brown, man. Make winning coach of the year, man. Coach of the year. Yeah, shout out to Mike Brown. He been around the first unanimous, first unanimous coach of the year. <laughs> Hat off to you, cause he been around Cleveland and all that. You know what I'm saying? He won the titles with Golden State, being an assistant. So he's been around, man. He he processed the information, Luke Walton. Luke Walton. He should have been a Lakers coach. <laughs> was he Lakers coach? I think he was, yeah. I think he was, right? was trash. Not with LeBron, though, right? I think he nah, coached with, Lo- with Kobe, right? Yeah. R.P. Kobe, yeah. He was with Kobe. He ain't do nothing over there. So I'm saying, Mike him. Brown processed the information. He did. He had to sit his ass down for a second. Let <laughs> me go behind Curry and behind whatever, whatever, one of these championships. Let me sit back for seven years to that right opportunity come. <sighs> I like it. It's 2 2, but if something interesting happened to. De'Aaron Fox, though, in that one. Yeah, like I said, he messed up his finger, man. I, I, I believe it. Dis- dislocated, I think. Shoot uh, the ver- no, the very tip of his index finger index fractured. Finger, right. Fractured, right? The yeah. very tip of it. So I don't know how that's going to affect him too much. I think they said if he, he if he do play, he got to wear a little brace on it. Mm-hmm. So, of course, that's going to affect the shot. Right. But this is really interesting. I saw, and I'm going to credit Nick Wright on this, um, 
from First Things First. Mm-hmm. He brought it up. He said, uh, check it, man. Um, 12, 2017 Warriors, mm-hmm. when they won the championship, game oh. game one. Alabusion fracture? That's what they got. Game one, Kyrie breaks his kneecap. Mm-hmm. They win the championship. 2018, who was it? Uh, uh, the Spurs was up 20 on the ass, and Kawhi fell on the ankle. Yeah, you talking about conspiracies of the Golden State? Not, not conspiracies, but just Shit the happened. pattern. Yeah, the yeah, pattern. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They win the championship. Who else, who else got hurt? Um, the the year with LeBron, Kevin Love, and all of them. They yeah, all got somebody hurt. Got hurt. Yeah, Brown was playing by himself. I think. Yeah, right? but I think it, it, it was more. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. He he did a tw- whole tweet about it. You go check him out. You know what I'm saying? It, it's like five years. Well, this is the fifth year. Yeah. Where it's like the, the the team that played them best, their best player got yeah, injured. Yeah, yeah. Ja was another one. Ja was Ja got hurt. You know what I'm saying? They, last year. You know what I'm saying? And they was down though. And Ja got hurt and then they won. Right. The championship. Yeah, so yeah. it's like yeah. two two. Shit they playing Shit Steve. Like you said, Steve, like we said, Steve Kerr never lost to Western Conference team. Draymond playing, right? Yeah, Draymond <laughs> playing, man. He's been playing since he got suspended in one game. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, These but they can't, they, chill, they can't fucking win on the road, though. The Warriors. They trash on the road the whole year. Mm-hmm. Trash on the road. Hey, man, that's a lot of teams, man. A lot of teams, though, they feed off that home environment. And they, they, but, but they superb at home, but they trash on the road. Like, super trash. Yeah, I know now. Nah, they record, I, 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 I listened to it on the way here. They reckon it was it was crazy. I ain't even, like it was one of those things that I heard it. And I'm like, damn, it was that ass in the row. It was like eleven and thirty. Yeah, it was something right? like that. It was something in the thirties. <laughs> like, yeah, it was something in the thirties that losses. Yeah. Thirty losses. Yeah, it was something with thirty. Yeah, I was like, damn. I was like, god damn. She hit me like that. But yeah, man, it's definitely been a missed the most interesting season, man. I mean, a uh, series. Who you got that overall. series? Two two. Who you got? It? I got Golden State now. Like Golden State? I think, you know, like I said, it's the first time Sacramento been there. The young team, so Steve Kerr but gonna continue. That with. includes with the yeah, Steve Kerr, but it ain't, that all falls in with Fox getting hurt too. Because mm-hmm. I think in their minds, their confidence levels already. They here. still want to get. Yeah, their they confidence is there. It. Like they're not scared no more. They like shit. We won oh, the first two games. Fracture? We can right. get to the second round. Yeah, so they like they their confidence is there, but I think you know the experience and stuff like that. I think Golden State will definitely pull off in seven. I think I think Golden. You still play for them. Who that? Iggy? Yeah, he on the bench somewhere. I'm about to say, do he still play? Yeah, he, he, don't, he don't play. But he uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. He dead. No, he gonna get he you know, They make the finals, he playing. Yeah, he know. They, get, <laughs> they make sure they give him a couple minutes to <laughs> yeah, that yeah, final. Yeah, 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 for sure. Hey, for hey, sure. hey, 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 hey. You know I got to get in the right, game. You know man. I got to get in here. Facts. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. Stop playing. That's a fact. Let me keep it in some of the wars, though, man. I yeah, mean, let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah. NBA real quick. You know what I'm saying? You got the most improved. You got shout out to take my hat again. Take off my hat again to Larry Marketing, man. Larry he Marketing from serving, the Bulls, right? He's out there serving his country as well. And, uh, yeah, he played for the Bulls. He got, he used he got to traded. Yeah, he got oh, traded yeah. to Cleveland. Damn, my bad. And then he went to Cleveland. I he love got that kind of hurt. Cleveland to Utah. That kind of hurt. Fires what? Seeing him do his thing? Nah, salute to him. He, he just improved and he was for y'all first. Yeah, <laughs> nah, because what happened? Listen, what happened was, man. Hey, man, we had to trade him to I'll get people. Play. We had to trade him to get uh, Demar Derozan and uh, you know uh, Ball over there. You know what I'm saying? We had to free up that cap. But uh, yeah, shout out to him because he had a great rookie season, and then he kind of not fulfilled the potentials. And then we was like, you know what? Time to move on. We're going to bring Lamar on him. So yeah, definitely shout out to Larry, man. Still root for Larry. You know what I mean, wherever he went from Cleveland, like say he did his thing with Cleveland, they got to trade to Utah for that Donovan Mitchell trade. You know, that helps the trade if you nice. You know what I'm saying? And he go out there and like say he's serving his country now. Then today, you know what I mean, we had Blanco, man, you know what I mean? Winning the rookie of the year, man. Pablo, Orlando Magic, man. Second, third Orlando Magic to win it. Oh, so. Pablo Banchero, right? Yeah, man. You know Banchero, that's crazy. I, we like, he was the that's one that crazy. everyone knew that he was going to win it, though, from the beginning. You yeah, out. we was just talking about that shit. Uh, we knew he was going to win yeah, from the summer fan, league. Yeah, if you check out fan, fan, fan podcast, man, I, I believe I put that up that he was going to win Ricky year. Like, I put it like Yeah, yeah, yeah. That the was, awards that I was saying people was going to win. When he was about to fight De- DeJounte Murray, I was like, 
and he not even drafted yet or whatever, or he might have been drafted. Nah, he was drafted, yeah, when yeah, he was talking so, junk yeah. in summer leagues. I'm shit. like, nah, he, as soon as he got to the league, he said, I'm in the league. I'm big dog. Right, talking I'm about, big dog, yeah, for sure. I can't be no, I ain't no little kid. Right. What's talking about? Yeah, and like you said, going back to Murray, he got suspended for, you know, Talk to officials. These, these cats got to chill. You can talk all the junk you want to officials, man. Just don't touch these officials, man. That's all I say. You what can talk did, whatever. Grab him or something? He just like he was talking shit, and then they like kind of like bumped him. Like you can't oh. really do anything to official. You know he did some petty shit. Yeah, but he been he been barking all for a minute though with the fish. Well, you seen wild. how he was with Papa Pablo Banchero. Hey man, he get he started that right. Then he throw the ball at him. Or yeah, some it shit, was right? like it was like they knew each other already, and it was like. Like you said, now Bible, like I'm a big dog. I'm I'm up here, so it's kind of. Dejounte like, Murray was trying to give him a welcome to the league. Joint, and he was like, "No, I'm a welcome you to the league. You Facts. ain't play nobody like me." Right. Facts. You know, Murray, first time. You know, what I mean, really seeing a spotlight like that. Like I said, he come from San Antonio to Atlanta. That's like that KG story mm-hmm. when he played against Pippen. Right. And he said that that got him to the league out of high school. Jordan right. was like, "I like you." Right, everybody was like, "Yeah, you got to do." Because was trying to pop, right. <laughs> right? That's a fact. <laughs> he said, "You fucked him up like that." I like, you know, Mike ain't like the pivot, son. Right? He's like, you got him mad. I like you. <laughs> right. That's crazy. Like you said, man. Hey, man, you play on the same team, man. You don't gotta be too cool with each nah, other. Nah, you just gotta understand the just game. Understand it, man, and, and, and go out there and play your position, man. It's a game at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? We created it for our entertainment, All right? You know what I'm saying? And you know, in history, it's just it's, you gotta get that energy out. You know what I'm saying? Because if it wasn't no sports, people would walk around mad Facts. all the time. Facts. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get that. As as fans, we get it out. Watching the game You know what I'm saying If we right. ask We gonna just You know Take it out on the game Whatever right, right. You know what I'm saying And, and if we winning We lit We like a euphoria You know what I'm saying And that's the same thing Within the game Right You know what I'm saying It's a simulated war You know Not You know Some games is violent Some games is just It's the best man win Right right That shit That make the world go around Facts facts Talking about the world go around You know what I mean You got a Doku man getting hired by the Houston Rockets. He made Doka. Yeah, man, he got hired by the Rockets. I seen man. that they gave him a chance. Yeah, you got to give him a chance, man. I mean, you know all he saying? did was get some pussy. <laughs> he summed it up. He just got. <laughs> he just did it in the wrong environment and mess with the wrong person. You know what I'm saying? But that's everyday shit, though. For real, it's everyday shit goes on every day. But. He just happened this to you know somebody in the hierarchies, and they was like, "Now nah, we gotta get him out of this organization." Yo, Twitter funny as a bitch. Somebody so, was like, "Yo, I still can't believe this motherfucker Matt Bars act like we made Ducker committed mass murders of shit." <laughs> <laughs> like when that happened, he was like, "Oh damn, I got the information, but damn, that shit fucked up." Oh, right, right, right. Man, he got some pussy. <laughs> Facts. Facts. <coughs> Facts. But like I said, though, it just you know, it just. <laughs> Some pussy ain't worth it. Some pussy ain't worth it, man. He got jobs, though. Yeah, some pussy ain't worth it, man. You know what I'm saying? You lose your job and you lose a beautiful wife. Yo, if I ever, like, off off camera, if I ever meet him, I'm going to be like, shit, yo, that must be some good-ass pussy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Like, damn, son. Damn. My you had me alone already. Hey, man. Damn. Hey, man. If you're going to do what you're going to do, it don't matter who you have, man. To be honest, man. If you're going to do what you want to do, how you do it, it don't matter who you with, man. It could be Beyonce. We we seen that story, right? Ali Berry, we seen that story, right? Shit. The list can go on. You know what I mean? And it goes vice versa. You see J-Lo out here looking good at 50, right? Whatever, how old she is. She's like 52. And look, mm. you know, she's a Mary Ben Affleck again. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <coughs> it just, it just go around, man. Just go around, for sure. But definitely, that's, that's definitely a great hire for a young Rockets team. You know what I'm saying? That's definitely coming up. Got some talent. You know what I mean? Let's see what they do this year. You know what I mean? We was talking definitely about great for another chance, though, fam. I got a couple things. We was talking about the world go around, man. Shout out to Elon Musk, man. Elon Musk. You know what I'm saying? I'm, a, I'm a big nerd. You know what I'm saying? For real. Shout out to all the nerds out there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He he the first time they they test did the test flight of the yeah, um, the too. big rocket. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's called Starship. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to go to Mars. They exploded though, right? Or something. 
Yeah, it was a controlled explosion. It, right? it was yeah. a controlled explosion. Okay. But um, Excuse me. because of some malfunctions, I ain't gonna lie, mm -hmm. but they encouraged that. Like Elon Musk been said it. They encourage that because they can learn from it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, can, you learn through failure. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So they can get Facts. it right the next time. Facts. They already got shit built. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They, they, they pre-built mad shit. Like, if you've been following, like mm -hmm. I said, I'm a super nerd with it. But to me, it was like the first steps we take to go to Mars. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's the first step we take to evolve as humans. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause, yo, at the end of the day, we, like, we're going to change. We not going to change. Right. But through our offspring, through well, you, you your your offspring right now, you know what I'm saying. Your first kid is in this generation, Facts. so through his offspring, probably it's gonna yeah. be different. Should be sleep. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna yeah. be different. Yeah. yeah, for sure. But um, it was the first step to the to the mission to Mars. You know what I'm saying? He got it off the ground. It's it's two times the thrust of the moon, the one that went to the moon. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's double the thrust, so it's the most powerful rocket ever in history. It got up there. The mission was supposed to go around. It was it was supposed to go around the Earth one time and then land in the ocean. Mm -hmm. It made it like three minutes into the flight. The bottom was supposed to disconnect and and land in the ocean. And the the top was supposed to go around, but it never disconnected. So they blew it up in the air, whatever. They said it was going to end with, with fireworks or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Was, they knew it was going to happen. You know what I'm yeah, saying? They, yeah, yeah. they knew we can't get it right on the first try. If we do right. that, that's amazing. Right. Facts. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, shout out to that. But also, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to On Site Battle League. I want to get before we leave. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Before we shut this shit down. Shout out to On Site Battle League. I went, I, I went to an event. I actually participated in, in filming the event. You know what I'm saying? Um, April 15th. We did that. And it was a movie. It was the ID Clear War Two card, and we did at California Brew House right on, you know, right up the street, in the Rock. And I'm gonna say these battle rappers, they put on for the Rock, in front of some important people. <clears throat> shout out to Big Bro CB, shout out to Elio the God. They started off tonight, you know what I'm saying, with the epic battle that. You couldn't ask for a better battle. I don't even care if it was URL. Like you couldn't ask for a better battle than what they had. Like it was like it was like punch after punch, and then the other one. It was like a rocky fight. You know what I'm saying? Like you yeah. know, like it was like right. you don't really know. You could watch that fight fights. You could watch that battle fight. Let's say I'm calling the fight because it was war. Yeah, you could watch that war five times and be like, damn, I don't know who won. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I love them type of battle. Shout out to my boy Crack. You know he battled a dude from Charlotte. North Carolina You know what I'm saying I don't, I don't think he's from Charlotte, North Carolina He, well, he said Carolina And then he shot mm -hmm. the Riggs mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying He was He was brought in By a URL level A scout You know what I'm saying So he was brought in From out of town Came in My boy Crack Did his thing You know what I'm saying He battled himself In the battle You know It's kind of corny Sometimes right mm -hmm. When you do it right, that shit is fire. Yeah. Like you know, so he battled himself in the, at some point in the battle. Yeah, and and you know they came through. It was a, a dude named Cali Smooth, obviously from Cali, pulled up, battle Chase Paper, you know, a legend battle rapper in the town. Um, Def the Kid. Uh, I think he he sounded like he was from you know the, the boroughs, maybe from the Bronx or something. You know, what I'm saying Brooklyn or something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But he came from out of town, too, and he battled my boy Story. Story got crazy. Y'all got to, you know, <laughs> tune in to the, to, the, to, the, to the scene. It was an amazing event. Etho was in the building. Uwap was in the building. You know what I'm saying? We had, it, 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 it was some faces in there. You know what I'm saying? It had a, a, a battle, battle rap TV or something in there. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, right. you know, and, and the crowd was dope. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the energy and everybody came to perform. Fire. That's all I got to say. Shout out to them. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to them for involving fam TV. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And bringing us in there, you know. And, and, and we doing work in the city. I, I told them. I was chilling with them. And I said, yo. Because we all kind of, like, when you get into the thing, when you when you get into, the, like, the circle or whatever, and that I, I stepped into, mm -hmm. everybody kind of chill. Everybody chill. You know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna to put up, put together these events, whatever, whatever. But, y'all, 
they serious about their shit. And, and, and I told them, I said, all I care about is the rock turning up. Right. Like, that's really what I really, like, always just thought. The rock turning up, like. Want to put the city on? That's the right. that's the greatest feeling to have your city feeling like the number one city in the world. Right, right. And that's what you were saying you leading, leading up to it too. Like you know, what I'm saying you just want the city to you know show, what I mean? out. show out in front of the people and the important people. Yeah. Important and, people. And, yeah, and they did that. That's what's up. You like I said, what and what the little bit I saw, like I saw, like you know what I mean, like I said, it was a nice turnout and stuff like that. And you know, from what you saying, like I said, it was lit in there and Rochester showed out. So that's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But yes, listen. <laughs> Couple of those, couple of those. My name Henny Dre. I'm John John, man. You know what I'm saying? This is the fan perspective. This is episode 162. Yes, sir. And you can catch us at Fam TV on Facebook and on YouTube. Yes, sir. And you can catch us at Fan Podcast on Instagram. And on IG. Yeah. I mean on Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Twitter. And you can catch me Henny at Dre. Henny underscore Dre. Yes, sir. On all that bullshit too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Yo, check us out. Man, yeah, episode like, one, subscribe, two, man. Sure. like, subscribe, all that. We out, you heard? We out. Peace. Peace. Stand up, 5A5.